All right, in this example, we want to find the components. That means find the vector that has some x and some y. If you know the magnitude is, uh, in this case, it's 4 times the square root of 3, and if you know the direction, and in this case, it's 150. First thing we want to do is draw a picture. All right, so we always measure these in the counterclockwise direction from x. So 150 puts me over here someplace like this. So I'm just going to sketch that. And so let me just draw it in red. My 150 is right here. Okay, so there's my 150. That's our theta. There's our direction. And then we know the length of this piece right here. The length of the vector is 4 times the square root of 3. So I can make a triangle out of that, a right triangle. All right, so let's take the triangle out of the axes. There we go, right triangle. I know the hypotenuse is 4 times the square root of 3. And if I knew this angle here, which is theta hat, then I can use my trig functions to find the x component and the y component. All right, so let me draw in this picture here. There's my theta hat. So let's first find theta hat. And so I can just take 180, and I can minus the 150, and that gives me 30. And so I know that I have 30 degrees in my triangle right there. All right, so now let's find the components. So we know that... Uh, the cosine of theta hat, that's the angle of my triangle, well that is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Um, we called it R somewhere else. Okay, so the adjacent side, rather than just calling it X, I can also call it V sub 1, because that's the component of the vector, vector is the V, um, in the x direction. So just to use the correct terminology, that's v sub 1. And of course, r, uh, we're back in trig ratios, the hypotenuse was r. You also know that as c. And now you also know that as the magnitude of the vector. All these things mean the same thing. So let's just use the correct terminology there. So I'm actually solving for the x part, which is v sub 1. So I can multiply both sides by the magnitude. So I end up with the v sub 1, which is really the x component. And that's going to be the magnitude times the cosine of theta hat. Let's go ahead and calculate this out. We know the magnitude is 4 times the square root of 3. And then we've got the cosine of, what was it, 30 degrees? All right, so let's use exact values here. So 4 times the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 over 2. And when you multiply that out, you get 6. So let me write the, let me write the v sub 1 equals 6 up here, so we'll kind of keep track of all of these. All right, now let's go ahead and do the, um, the y component. And I can call the y component my v sub 2, which is in the y direction. Um, and let me erase a couple things here. And we're going to, this is going to look very familiar back when we did trig ratios. All it, ha all it is is just a little bit different terminology now. So we can use our sine function. function. So we know the sine of theta hat, well that's going to be the opposite over the uh, hypotenuse or r, and now we're calling the y, well we're calling that our v sub 2, and again our r, which is the same as our c, we're calling that the magnitude of vector v, so I can multiply both sides by that magnitude. And I have the v sub 2, which is really my y component, is equal to the magnitude of the vector times the sine of theta hat. That's in my triangle. 
So v sub 2 is going to be equal to 4 times the square root of 3 times the sine of 30 degrees, keeping exact values. So I have 4 times the square root of 3 times 1 half. So you end up with 2 times the square root of 3. So v sub 2 equals 2 times the square root of 3. Or does it? So let me erase this and we'll just talk about that in a minute. Alright, so all the all the math part is correct, that's fine. So we know that our vector, well that's the v sub 1 and the v sub 2, but this is in quadrant 2 over here. So the x component has to be negative, and I just have to know that, um, because it doesn't pop out when you do your formula. So the 6 has got to be negative, because it's in quadrant 2. There you go. So there's the components of the vector, negative 6 in the x direction, and 2 times the square root of 3 in the y direction.